Ocular hypertension is any situation in which the pressure inside the eye, the intraocular pressure, is higher than normal. Normal intraocular pressure is about 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury. So ocular hypertension is an eye pressure greater than 21 millimeters of mercury. Ocular hypertension is not actually a disease, but is a term used to describe individuals who should be observed more closely than the general population for the onset of glaucoma, right? So ocular hypertension is also known as uh, glaucoma suspect, meaning to say like people with uh, intraocular pressure higher than 21 millimeters of mercury are known as glaucoma suspects right so in this video we are going to talk about etiology complaints signs and symptoms methods of examination differential diagnosis complications and prophylaxis of ocular hypertension high intraocular pressure level is caused by an imbalance in the production and drainage of the aqueous humor it can be due to excessive aqueous humor production or its adequate drainage through the trabecular meshwork. Right? Do you remember where the aqueous humor is produced? It's produced by the ciliary body, right? And then from there it enters the posterior chamber and then it moves to the anterior chamber through the pupil and then it goes to the uh, through the iridocorneal angle. We have a trabecular meshwork. And then sclems canal and then the veins until it reaches the venous system right right so if there is any disorder in that uh, drainage pathway it can cause uh, high intraocular pressure medications such as steroids uh, can also increase intraocular pressure trauma is another factor uh, thin cornea pseudo exfoliation uh, pseudo exfoliation syndrome is uh, when the fibrilla uh, fibrilla proteins are deposited uh, in the eye structures uh, and also pigment dispersion syndrome stress and hormonal dysfunctions are also potential causes of ocular hypertension right what are the signs and symptoms of ocular hypertension most people with ocular hypertension do not experience any symptoms at early ages, right? But as time goes on, uh, using the Goldman Aplanation Tonometry, we can measure the intraocular pressure. And the first sign is that we will see that the pressure will be more than 21 millimeters of mercury, but below 30 millimeters of mercury, right? Because at this stage, definitely it will be uh, a glaucoma, right? Right. In addition to um, to this pressure between 21 to 30 millimeters of mercury, the anterior chamber, the anterior chamber angle is open. The optic nerve disc appears normal and there will be no signs of glaucoma found during perimetry, right? Methods of examinations, we can use a uh, slit limb technique, gonioscopy, right? So this one is uh, specifically for measure, for uh, looking at the anterior chamber of the eye. Tonometry, right? Tonometry, I told you, the gold standard is called Goldman tonometry, right? Goldman tonometry. But here in Ukraine, uh, the mostly used uh, method is called Maklakov. Tonometry, Maklakov tonometry, right? Uh, other methods, pachymetry, ophthalmoscopy, fundoscopy, perimetry, perimetry specifically for measuring the peripheral visual fields, right? Looking at the peripheral visual fields. Uh, we can also use um, optical coherence tomography or OCT. And last one is called uh, Heidelberg, Heidelberg Retinal Tomography, or HRT. 
right okay differential diagnosis uh, you need to differentiate ocular hypertension with uh primary open angle glaucoma right and we have described this condition right so you can click the link on the top right corner and watch this video right it's called primary open angle glaucoma uh, we should also differentiate it from secondary open angle glaucoma uh, chronic angle closure glaucoma right okay complications and prophylaxis poor control of elevated intraocular pressure may lead to primary open angle glaucoma development which causes glaucomatous optic neuropathy resulting in progressive vision loss prophylaxis regular eye examinations and intraocular pressure control are very important preventative measures to screen for any optic nerve damages caused by high pressure so that its progression to glaucoma can be prevented right in uh, uh, medications which reduces the intraocular pressure we covered them uh, in the previous video in uh, primary open angle glaucoma right so you need to watch that video